Hello, Lilas. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you're not a member of the Chatterbox, then go ahead and join the Chatterbox. The membership is $1.99. You do have to be at least 18 years old to join. And yeah, <laughs> come over to the wild side. Um, think about doing a live stream again tonight. Um, well, I ain't gonna say again tonight, but tonight. I was gonna do one last night, but stuff just got complicated um, because I fell asleep. <laughs> So anyway, for those that are new and may not know who this baby is, this is Jaden. And Jaden is the Everett Sculpt by Don Donofrio. And Don Donofrio apparently have been around for a while, but not like produced like a whole lot of babies, put a lot of babies out there. But um, apparently she's been around for a little while. So... Um, this is my first uh, sculpt from her. And so I painted him. Hopefully one day I will root him <laughs> when I get a chance. I am actually going to take him out of this outfit. This is the first time he's actually had a bottle. So he's probably starving. Are you starving? He has a little tongue in here. Oh, it, it didn't get in the way. Sometimes the tongue get in the way when you're trying to, you know, feed them. But, um, yeah, so sometimes these babies want some, some milk and this great, delicious fabric softener just does their body good. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm just kidding. Um, I do not like this outfit on him I thought I would but I don't so I'm gonna take it off of him so he's gonna be fully exposed let me just burp him just in case because we don't want him to be throwing up on on us <laughs> well we don't want you to throw up on me here we go oh big bird did y'all catch that? Ah, okay. Yeah, because we don't want him doing the whole throw up while we changing him. So let me see. He might not be in the frame so well. Ha. Huh. So weird. Let's see. Mm. Got a little bit more. Got him a little bit more in the frame, I guess. Let's see. Let's give us some more light. Oh, uh, that was not a good idea. That didn't necessarily work. All right. Just trying to get more light so you guys can see. But oh well. We'll, we'll have to work it out the best we can. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get him out of this because this ain't working for me. If my babies don't look cute in an outfit, it it bothers me. Like sometimes the outfit itself is cute. Like this outfit itself used to be so cute, like on um, Memphis and stuff. But if it doesn't look good on the baby, I I don't know. It's like it, it throws me off with with the, the baby and everything. Like I, I don't I don't like the baby <laughs> if I don't like the outfit. I don't know. It's kind of weird, especially if it just don't flow right with their little body and all. Here we go. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. Hey, look at, look at me, aunties. 
I love this boy. What are you doing? <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm getting him dressed is fun when he's in my lap. I don't like, I don't like doing the dressing when I have to, um, I'm gonna have to keep bending all over the crib and all that stuff. That's why lately, like you'll usually see me do videos and the baby's already dressed. I don't, I know you guys probably don't like those, but it's just so much work when I have to keep leaning. So I'm tall. So I have to keep leaning over that crib. And the crib is, I got it raised up as high as I can. And I have the changing table. The changing table definitely makes it much better. But then the lighting kind of sucks where the changing table is. It's just crazy. But once I get everything together and I really slow down on my painting, I'm thinking I'm strongly considering eliminating one of my workstations so that I can get my other uh, spot back for the babies too it'll be much easier for me to do more changing videos. Let me know if you guys even like changing videos anymore. Um, yeah. Look at this little, look at that little sugar book. <laughs> oh, you gonna come out the hat, boy. But I don't know if this other hat gonna work. He got these little shorts. They're so cute. I got some other shorts. This one got little pockets on it. On a little pocket on the back. But the other little shorts that I got. Oh my God. They're so stinking cute. But I decided I'm going to put these on him first. And then maybe with one of his other shirts. I'll put him on the other little shorts. Because they're little, little shorts. <laughs> oh God. And I, you know, it's cute. For a newborn baby to wear little, you know, shorts or whatever. But honey, I am not here for that, um, this new trend that's going on. Talking about, uh, a hot boy summer with grown men with these little, uh, Daisy Duke light shorts. Um, no ma'am. I need my grown man to look like a grown man. I don't need him looking like he trying to outdo me in some Dukes or in some doggone onesies. But if that's what y'all like, don't be mad, sis, when you next thing you know, his best friend ain't really his best friend. But anyway, that's a whole other subject. We talking about dogs. Let's get on to it. Oh, look at him. He was so cute. Okay, let me see if this hat, you might do have to wear this hat again. Now, baby, he, listen, honey, he don't have hardly no hair. So, y'all don't judge me, but, child, I be still wanting to brush his little edges. Look at Baby ain't got hardly no hair. But sometimes I don't know. Like, I don't know which way I want to swoop these, this little bit of hair. <laughs> it's so funny. Because he really don't have much hair. It's just right around the perimeters. Because I want it to give an illusion of hair. So, cause you know, it do look better when you do the pictures and they have some type of hair showing. It just adds to the realism. And I get it. I guess that's why a lot of people be wanting, you know, their babies rooted or whatever the case may be. And I be mad when I be wanting y'all to buy the ball babies. Cause I'm okay with my ball babies. Cause I, I'll keep a ball baby ball for about a year. And then finally go get it rooted. Sometimes once I get it rooted, I don't want it. Um, which is even more weird. I think I'm a little different from most people, though. I think I am more into the... Uh, 
I think I care more about the sculpting or the painting than I do. Look at this little bald head. Now this don't go with his outfit at all. This definitely don't go and it's really gonna throw it off. But I wanna see if this hat fit. I can't remember how snug this hat fit. No, they don't fit that snug. So I won't put him on this hat because it's just going to keep sliding and I don't like that. So he's just going to go back into his hospital hat. I love these because they don't slide. And sometimes I put these on um, under like another hat so that it keeps the friction. So if you put this hat on first and then try to put on another hat. It'll work better. All right. So like if I wanted to put him on this hat now, this hat will stay better, but it don't match. So, which I kind of knew that. I rooted his eyebrows. I did not lay them down. I'm probably gonna trim them a little bit. They still like this one look like it need to be like trimmed a little bit. But I don't like to lay, I like to lay mine down sometimes, but sometimes I, I've gotten to the point where I kind of don't like laying them down now. So I'm trying to perfect it where I root them, where they root it like how eyebrows grow so that they can lay naturally. All right. The KY on his mouth. I got it off. And he, you guys haven't seen him with a pacifier in his mouth. Um, and mainly because he doesn't really look all that amazing with pacifier. But um, I should give him one just so you guys can see. Oh, um, let me see what we got here, baby. BB. Oh, look at this. Uh, let me see. I like that look across the face. Pacifiers are, oh, okay. Pacifiers are uh, funny because we be needing the shape. Oh, that's going pass a pacifier with a magnet. I gotta see. If that fits anyone. Oh, this is a, a clear one. Let's see what this one looks like. I really like try to see what the pacifier is going to look like up against their face. Um, Nook pacifiers tend to go with almost everything. So I usually like Nook pacifiers. He has a little tongue and it's like a loose tongue. So. A lot of people like all this fanciness with the tongues and the ones that's flopping and come out and go in and stuff, but they kind of just get in the way. I, it's, I'm not, I, I enjoy painting inside the mouth if it's one that's very detailed and I can get to it easily. Um, but I'm not one that's like super picky about the mouth or crazy about the mouth. That's the one thing about the babies that I don't care about as much is how detailed inside the mouth is. I like it when it is and I can get to it because some people they sculpt the mouth really tight and it's really small in the inside and then when you're trying to paint it it's more of a challenge so you kind of be like dang I'd rather not add <laughs> had all that but there's his little feet and um like I said before I really love his feet his big toe is separate on both but I really really love his feet I love the way the coloring came out but I love the sculpting of his feet um I love his toes and everything like I really love his feet a lot of times you'll hear me like say I love something about um, my babies and usually I'm I'm mostly uh, speaking of the sculpt itself because um, I don't know I just I just admire the sculpts 
I think this, I think the sculpts m really makes the baby great. Um, the painting definitely complements and rooting it definitely adds on that extra touch and stuff and it all works together but at the end of the day um if you don't have a nice canvas and then it, it's not gonna come together it's good look at that look at this baby <laughs> i love him um so him and vegas are close in size so i have him vegas and phoebe um phoebe is my favorite as far as squish and to hold and uh then i really love i love uh jaden and but i love uh vegas too vegas actually has like the perfect body style of course um everything is like flowing very nicely and then jaden is nice he's nice too um, I, I do have to be honest and say that the Willow bodies are just, is unmatchable. Um, and, uh, but I like his feet more and I like his face a little bit more. Um, even though I love the Willow faces, like they're my favorite, they're my favorite, uh, Claire babies. And they look like my babies, <laughs> my real babies. So um, it's definitely like no disrespect when I say that I like this face a little bit more. Uh, I think because grandkids trump real ki uh, kids. <laughs> and for some reason, he kind of reminds me of Bryson a little bit. So he trumps, <laughs> he trumps the kids, <laughs> if that makes sense. But anyway. So this is, this is him. Oh, I, if you guys can see him in these little shorts and what I'm doing this, his little, his little shorts look so cute. He looks so cute in his little shorts. Say, I am just imperfectly perfect, mommy. Yeah. I'm really happy with him. I just need to finish him and I'll really be content. Um, I don't plan to let him go. I don't. I really don't. I don't plan to let him go. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys later. Bye-bye.